Today is February 11th, and as usual, I will take a look at the new items on Halo Infinite Store and determining whether or not they're worth your money. So, how's it going, Magpies? I'm Magpie Leon, and let's jump straight in. Today's item is the Setting Sun Weapon Coating for the Rocket Launcher, just two days after it first appeared. Now, I have plenty of issues with this, but first we'll talk about the item itself. As far as the Rocket Launcher Coating goes, it's nice enough. There isn't exactly many Rocket Launch Coatings to compare it to. I think there's like two or three in the game in total, one of which being the one from the campaign, another one being the Woodland Mystic one, which is a store item, and this one, which is a store item. So it definitely is unique, but it's not exactly like there's much there to compare it to. It's a nice orange and grey coating, and don't get me wrong, it is a nice coating. However, it does cost 300 credits, and I think for one weapon skin, that just isn't a fair price. I think if 343 had done it as like a type of bundle where it was like, you get the coating for power weapons or for explosive weapons, like it could have been where you got it for the rocket launcher and the sniper, or the rocket launcher and the hydra, and I think this would have made sense and 300 credits would have been worth it, because that would have worked out at about 150 credits per weapon skin, and I think that would have been fine. It doesn't necessarily have to be for every weapon, but I don't think a 300 credits is a fair price for a single gun. If 343 had done it where they'd give it it give you the coating for multiple weapons then that would have been fine uh, i mean considering they said coatings are supposed to make it easier for them to develop like several coatings and it means they can develop them quite quickly but we only ever see coatings for like one or two weapons at most uh, i'm starting to doubt whether or not that's even true i think this being on the shop again already just goes to show how terribly the shop's being handled we see the same content over and over again it, i mean being drip fed drip fed new stuff is one issue but seeing the same thing things constantly is just depressing. As I say in all these videos, there's plenty of other bundles that we've not seen in a good while, and since they've started doing individual items and taking bundles apart, why could they have not brought some items back from some of the 1000 to 1500 credit bundles that we haven't seen since the game launched? The store is just terrible and i am getting quite sick of talking about it because it's just the same stuff over and over again with this being back already i can guarantee that tomorrow we're going to see the blue team emblem pack again and the day after that we're probably going to see uh, whatever was on yesterday and then we'll probably see the setting sun coating a third time this week later on down the line I, th I honestly think the store is quite possibly the worst part about the game is being handled so terribly and again this is the primary way to earn cosmetics in this game right now so the fact that we see the same stuff over and over again and when that stuff isn't even really that great, we're well, being charged money for it, it's crap. I have no issue paying for cosmetics when those cosmetics are worth it, but right now a lot of the stuff that 343 are putting out there just aren't worth it. Anyway, I won't be talking about the perfect circle armor effect, the longhorn vehicle model, or the estate gold armor coating, as I covered all those in my first video of the rotation. Alongside, this rocket launch coating isn't that fun. So if you want to hear my thoughts on the other items, make sure to check that video out. I'll leave a link on your screen right now. But yeah, that's all from me today. If you've enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new here. I'm aiming for a thousand subs by the end of the year, and I'm hoping we can reach 700 by the end of February. As I say, in all these videos, the support on the channel right now, folks, has been amazing, and I do truly mean that. Sometimes making these shop videos honestly feels like quite a bit of a chore when we don't really get anything new to talk about it's quite boring but a lot of you have been sticking with the videos and i see a lot of regular faces and that really does mean a lot to me anyway that's all for me and i'll catch you in the next one